What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Now if you bought the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Dual early and it's the watch with the two cameras, chances are you are on the old firmware and the Google Play Store may not be working for you. Now today I bring you an easy firmware update which will fix the Google Play Store. Just follow this video step by step and feel free to ask any questions if you need any help. So let's get started. So the Play Store does not work on the Z-Blaze Thor Dual. Now in this video I'm going to be updating the firmware and we're going to get that Play Store working. So what you need for the upgrade is the watch, the USB cable that comes with the watch, the magnetic one. You need a PC, I'm using a mini PC for this and it has to be a Windows machine. If we have a look at the desktop, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. You need to download that firmware and extract it. So there's the firmware file, it's called Thor 4 Dual Firmware Update. It's a zip file that you extract and then you'll have a single folder and when you open the folder up and within that folder you will have four files. Three of them are zip files and one of them is the instruction document which is actually a PowerPoint instruction. I'm going to quickly open up that instruction document first of all. So it tells you in this instruction document exactly what to do and how to do the upgrade step by step in four or five slides exactly how to do the firmware update. So I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to do the first step. So we've got the driver folder. I'm going to extract the driver folder. So that's extracted. I'm going to ex extract the SP, the SP tools, which is the actual flash tool. But make sure you extract the driver folder as well. So as soon as you download your files, just extract all three zip files. Okay, so we've got our software, we've extracted all three of these zip files, we've got three folders there. So the first thing we're going to do is turn off the watch. So totally switch it off, keep the power button pressed and click power off. There you go, you can see the power is going to switch off now and you'll feel a vibration and it's off. To begin with, the smartwatch must be completely off and the USB cable must not be plugged in yet. So first of all, we're gonna install the driver. We have extracted the driver zip and here it is. So it says Windows systems and Windows 64-bit system. So we're gonna open up 64-bit and you can see there is an application there called DP install. We're just gonna double click that. And you will see this. Click next and allow the driver to install. It's going to ask you would you like to install, click trust and click install. And that's it, it's done. So we have done the driver, we've completed the driver installation. Now after installing the driver, just go ahead and restart your computer once. Now this is not written in the instructions, but I had to restart my computer in order for the driver to take effect. So just quickly restart your computer right now. Now if you go back and open up the SP Flash Tool software, so here it is, we just open it up, it's called the Flash Tool right there. I'll zoom in just to show you. You can see it says Flash Tool, double click that and open up that application. So we've got the Flash Tools open here. You're going to select the scatter loading file first of all. So the first thing we're going to do is select the scatter loading file, which is the middle option. Click choose. Now go back to the main folder of your firmware and select the firmware folder called Thor 4 Dual. So open that folder. You will have two more folders called database and image. Open up the image file and there you will see MT6739 Android scatter. So click that and click open. You're going to see processing, so it's checking the firmware at the bottom in pink. Now over here, you need to make sure it says download only. So you've got format, you've got firmware upgrade, you've got download only. So select download only first of all and click on the download button. Okay, so now we have to connect the watch. So make sure you have not connected the watch before you've done all of this process, otherwise it won't work. So now we're going to plug into the free USB port. All I'm going to do is connect this charger up and put the watch down on the table. So don't touch that watch now. Go back to your computer. The watch will automatically start up 
and it will show the battery charging symbol. So just leave it alone, do not touch that watch while this process is initiating. Now at the bottom corner it says in small writing device is ready. Okay, so if we go back to our software, we're waiting for it to connect. So the firmware update has now started. It took a while to detect the actual watch. So what I had to do for it to detect is I left the watch plugged in for five minutes, three, four minutes. Um, and then I basically unplugged it slightly and plugged it back in. And then immediately the yellow bar started. You can see now it's upgrading the firmware successfully. So we're at 48%. I'm going to let that finish to 100 and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so our firmware update is now complete. As soon as you see that green tick, it means it's done. So we can now disconnect the watch and we're gonna see if it works. So let's go ahead and switch on. So the upgrade wipes everything and you have to start again. So we're choosing the language. So I'm gonna get this watch set up really quickly and then we're gonna see if the Play Store works. So I'm just gonna to connect to Wi-Fi, make sure I am connected. So I'm connected to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection and now we are going to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store and hopefully it should be up and running and there you go Google Play Store fully resolved so you can see the Google Play Store is now fully working on the Z-Blaze Thor and just to show you that it does work I will just install something no idea what to install. just going to install any piece of software just to show you that it does work we are downloading Amazon Music now I have not even finished the review for this product yet as soon as I saw the Google Play issue I felt compelled to find a fix for it before I review it because it is no doubt a very good smartwatch it supports 4G, you've got dual cameras, the camera quality is actually surprisingly good. Z-Blaze Thor 4 Duo people, an awesome watch and the full review is coming up your way very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Feel free to ask questions if you need any help to get connected or if you have any other issues do let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help you. And you're most welcome to drop me an email if you need any further help. Another thing I must add is if you buy this watch now, you will get the new firmware pre-installed for you so you won't have to do the upgrade manually like I just showed you. So this firmware upgrade is only for this watch, the Z-Blaze Thor 4 Duel, and that's only if you have a problem opening the Google Play Store. If your Google Play Store is working fine, then do not even bother doing the firmware upgrade. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description box below for the actual firmware file that you need to download. I'll leave the links for the watch as well in case you want to pick one up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.